Hi. Hey, hey, hey Bradley. You look very Washingtonian in that outfit. I spent a long time pretending to look Washingtonian. <laughs> Congresswoman Ileana Ross Lightning is a Reagan Republican, a down the line conservative on budget and regulatory issues. She was a climate skeptic until recently when a fellow Republican persuaded her to change her mind. If I came in here three years ago uh, and said, hey, I want to talk to you about climate change, what would your reaction be? I would be? say, oh my goodness, you're going to impose tax on my gas and you're going to make all of my cost of living items go up. That it's gonna, I, and, and that we're going to hurt the economy. Hurt the economy of no personal benefit to me and it's a long range problem and all it is is weather and weather changes. Right. So it's taken me a long time to realize and, what this issue is all about. And what, what changed it? I no longer have the luxury of saying, it doesn't impact me, that's for somebody else. Well, the somebody else are, are these kids. Right, they're they're my grandkids. I understand that the science is real. It's not a matter of believing or not. It's that this is science. This is proven. I, I can see your connection to this issue personally. I can see that you've genuinely moved on it. I also know that you're a proud member of a party that dismisses it. Uh, does that frustrate you? Our party should once again be that conservation party, Teddy Roosevelt. We've moved away from that, and now we think that in order to believe in the science of, uh, of climate change, you have to be a nuts and berry kind of tree hugger. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with that, as Seinfeld would say, but you can still believe in all of the things that you believe in as Republicans because conservation is a true Republican value. Right. And uh, we need to get back to that. Right. We moved so far away, it's a shame. It seems like there is a, uh, a political win for Republicans in terms of uh, being part of a more market-based solution rather than a regulatory solution. Market-based, and you're so right. You, you, are, you are speaking our language. Should I invite you to our next GOP meeting in the uh, I'll have to Canada talk Caucus to my family room? first. <laughs> you might get drummed out. I might. Listen, that happened to me in the beginning. It was global climate change, but right. uh, I'm all right. right with it now. What is the, what is the time frame on some meaningful uh, climate change solution legislation? I think it'll be about three years, and I know that people are thinking out there when they listen to this, we don't what a bunch of bozos. We don't, have, we don't have time to spare. It's such a glacial pace of change. Everything is so slow in Congress. Ross Layton not only thinks the party will have to get its head out of the sand on climate, but that the issue has the potential to be more uniting than so many others. Congresswoman Ileana Ross Leighton is a climate hero in her own right, and she is right over here. Please say it. I had no idea that these events were fun. What? I have three grandkids. The fourth one is coming tomorrow. And they have made me really pay attention to our planet and to the damage that we're doing to it and how we can save it for our kids and grandkids. Yeah.